morning everyone or good afternoon or good evening depending on what time you're watching. Thank you very much for popping back just to check out this wee recipe. So thank you for joining me. If you're new, a very warm welcome to you as well. This is what's for tea and for tea tonight I made this absolutely amazing slow cooker apple cider pork and you know it's just one of the recipes it's so so easy and well worth taking the time over you know just to brown off your chops a wee bit and make your sauce before you put everything in to the slow cooker because the end result is absolutely delicious let me tell you so I'm just going to run you through the ingredients and as usual all of the ingredients will be in the show more box underneath this video I've got grams and ounces down there depending on what you use. So let me tell you what you're going to need and this will serve four to five people and I'm using a three and a half litre crock pot. But just before I move on, I wanted to say a big, big thank you to the supporters over on Patreon, you know, supporters of the channel. So thank you all very much, guys. It means ever so much. And I'll leave a link to my Patreon underneath this video. So the first thing you're going to need is four boneless shoulder steaks, one teaspoon of salt and about half a teaspoon of fresh black pepper, some olive oil or vegetable oil for frying, one onion which you're going to have to slice, 43 grams of plain flour, 250 ml of apple cider or if you don't want to use the cider you could use apple juice, 500 ml of chicken stock or chicken broth, one tablespoon of mustard, two teaspoons of dried thyme, two teaspoons of dried sage, about four or five baby potatoes, just cut them in half, three carrots which I'll just want to peel and cut into one inch pieces, two medium green apples, peeled, cored and cut into about the same size pieces as your carrots. And that's it. So let's move on and I'll show you this very simple, very easy recipe that's absolutely delicious thing we're going to do is sear our meat. Now you could use these steaks that I'm using or you could use, you know, diced pork. It's up to you if you want more, you know, more of a stew. I'm deciding to use pork shoulder steaks. These are very inexpensive. I think these were under four pounds for the four of them and they're quite large and very thick. So I've gone with these today, but like I said, you could of course use the diced stuff if you prefer. So you just want to sear these on each side for a few minutes and this is going to seal all of your lovely juices in and it's going to give you a nice base for your gravy. It doesn't take long. Once you're happy just take them out and set them to the side for the time being and now we're going to do the gravy base. So in the same pan you just want to add your onions, add another wee bit of oil if your you know if your pan's a bit dry. Just saute these until they're starting to brown. It'll only take you a couple of minutes because the, you know, the heat of your pan is quite high. To that we're going to add our flour and this is going to, you know, thicken up your gravy and make it nice and rich. So you just want to cook out your flour for a few minutes just to take the raw edge off. After that you can add in your apple cider or your apple juice if you're deciding to use that. Give it a good stir through and cook that for a couple of minutes. Once you're happy, you can pop in your chicken stock. Just do this in two stages. I've just used cubes and I'm going in with a whisk just to get rid of the lumps and make it nice and smooth. You see Mr. Watts for tea in the background there, <laughs> having a look at what's going on. He's so nosy. So once it's nice and smooth, you can pop in the other half of your chicken stock. Give it a good stir around, again, just to combine everything. And I'm going to pop in a tablespoon of this mustard. This is a honey mustard, but you can use whole grain or whatever you like. I had this one needing used up, so I've used that. And a couple of teaspoons of sage and thyme. This goes really well with the pork. And again, just pop them in and give them a wee stir around. And now would be a good time to add your salt and pepper to your own taste. And that's it done. Just let it simmer for about a minute and that's you. You can take that off the heat and we're now ready to pop things into the slow cooker. Lovely. 
So I'm starting off with the, the root veggies first because they take longer to cook and I tend to put the things that take long to, longer to cook in the bottom. So your carrots and your baby potatoes in the bottom. Now there's only one of us having these baby potatoes or I'd have put more in. You can put in as many as you like. And I'm going to follow that with my meat and the juices that have came out whilst resting. And then the apples on top. And then just smother everything with that lovely gravy. And that's it. Really simple. I'm just thinking now, looking at this, I think mushrooms would have gone really well in that gravy as well. Delicious. And, the, you know, your apples are going to soften up. Everything's going to become really tender. Oh, just amazing. So I'm going to have rice with mine. Mr. Watts for tea and one of the girls is going to have chips and the other girl is going to have the wee baby potatoes. So you want to cook this in high between four and five hours or low for between six and eight hours. I actually gave mine six hours on high and this was mine when it was ready. And the smell in this house, I couldn't, it was insanely good. And that's it just bubbling away. So I'm going to try and show you, you know, I'm trying to use, I'm trying to use a wooden spoon to lift these up, but they were fall apart tender. So this is the chips here. Like I said, Mr. Watts for tea and his oldest daughter had the chips with some of the gravy and some of the carrots, onions and oh, the herbs, the smell. It was just amazing. So two of us had this. And like I said, I had the rice. So this is just plain boiled rice. I had my pork on top with a few carrots and onions and I'm going to show you in a wee second just how tender this is. Bearing in mind I'm going to be one-handed and I'm using a blunt knife and look how easy that just pulls apart. It's crazy. And it went really well with the rice actually. Yeah, so tasty. I forgot to film the plate with the baby potatoes, but it was basically the same, but with the baby potatoes. <laughs> so that was a really easy recipe, but I wouldn't skip the browning of the meat. I feel that's quite an important step, you know, and you are getting a lovely base for your gravy. And it's just sealing in all of that flavour in your meat. But like I said, you don't have to use the pork shoulder steaks if you don't want to. Simple pork casserole. Uh, meat would do or you know diced casserole steak or, or even beef would work but I don't think it would work as well as the pork you know with the apple and the cider so I would say go for pork if you have a diet which allows for pork if not try some chicken maybe but that's it so thank you very much guys for popping over just to check out this wee recipe like I said and I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and what are quite uncertain times at the moment and I shall be back later on with meals of the week and some of your comments as well so hopefully you'll join me for that so until I see you next mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you very very soon so bye for now bye now